in the dialysis unit there is one terminology which is related to the reprocessing or reuse of the dialysis that is total cell volume and a fiber bundle volume the topic of discussion is decoding these two terminologies which is related to the dialyzer total cell volume and fiber bundle volume simply if i have to tell in the dialyzer the amount of fluid that can be accommodated in the blood compartment is called total cell volume the amount of fluid or blood basically in the dialyzer blood goes where the diffusion occurs only that part is called fiber bundle volume i hope you didn't understand let us show with the help of the dialyzer so this is the dialyzer let us hold like this blood comes this side goes inside and goes out dialysate revolves in this side this is the dialysate compartment this is the blood compartment from here to here you can hold like this also from here to here is the blood compartment the amount of fluid what is that fluid fluid is nothing but the blood which is going to be there in ml from this point to this point that represents the volume total cell volume if you see the dialyzer here here there is some space where the blood gets collected and enters the micro capillaries here the diffusion won't occur so what to do shall we give some other terminology for the blood which is staying over here or the volume which is over here so that terminology is called the header space head is there any tail since head is there tail should be there in dialyzer there is no tail only these this is header space similarly this area is called header space so in this at least in this dialyzer i can open this and show here the blood will first come and enter the micro capillaries here the diffusion won't occur the micro capillaries are inside so from here here this is header space this entire thing is called total cell volume it varies from dialyzer to dialyzer the manufacturer usually gives the value what is the total cell volume inside the micro capillaries are there how much blood is going to be there inside only the micro capillaries where diffusion is going to occur it is called a fiber bundle volume fiber bundle volume only the terminology you can simply understand suppose in this dialyzer if i have to measure how to do it simply just to take water and put it just for description only you put water whatever the amount goes inside the these micro capillaries and stays there that is called fiber bundle volume in a fresh dialyzer usually the fiber bundle volume will be 100% when it is required in the reuse many a times many micro capillaries might get blocked due to blood clot or some other damage the blood won't go through the particular micro capillary that time fiber bundle volume will come down that is the amount of blood where the active diffusion occurs it can't hold the blood because of the clot the fiber bundle volume comes down that time probably a dialyzer have to be discarded there are machine dialysis dialyzer reprocessing machine which can tell the fiber bundle volume how much reduction it happened compared to the first one first one usually the manufacturer give how much the volume is 80 ml 100 ml some value they will give it is nothing but amount of blood inside the micro capillaries so now you might have got a idea what are these two terminologies so total cell volume from here to here includes fiber bundle volume plus header space volume here here these two are header space volume fiber bundle volume so total cell volume equal to fiber bundle volume plus header space volume in this which is more important fiber bundle volume is more important why that is the place where active diffusion is occurring 
in the dialyzer so this is all regarding today's discussion in summary fiber bundle volume is this one header space total cell volume this is more for the dm nephrology residents probably you might get in exam in viva but more important for the dialysis technologist for md medicine resident probably this uh, kind of terminology they won't ask you in viva probably some difficult kind of mcq you might rarely get this question some student might ask sir in all the dialyzer this can be opened no most of the dialyzer nowadays coming at a fixed one in this model at least we can open it so that any clots we can remove that's all bye bye we will see in the